This program is rated G and is suitable for general audiences. Okay, Marco, it's time. You have one heart left to give out tonight. It's going through your mind. To be honest, Emily, so much. Every one of these women are special in their own way. I'd hate to fumble the opening kickoff, if you know what I mean. And I'd hate to fumble the opening kickoff, if you know what I mean. Using a football analogy. Nice touch. I thought so myself. I know this is hard for you, Marco. Still, you have to choose. Who's it going to be? Candace, will you step forward? Will you accept this heart? Continue this journey with me? I'm sorry. Cuts, resetting. Uh, we'll pick it up from Emily's question. Resetting, everybody. Back to one. Don't even think about cutting that camera. Follow that contestant. We don't have time. We're losing the light. We've got to complete this setup by sundown. Just, hey, keep going. I'll get it. What was that, Keith? What's the big deal? The biggest drama of the night just ran off in tears and you stopped rolling. That's the big deal. Oh, who cares? It's episode one. Just have him pick someone else. Props. Let's get a fresh heart out here. You're absolutely right. Could use a little freshening up out here. Candace, will you step forward? Will you accept this heart? Continue this journey with me? I'm sorry. <laughs> It's the first episode. We can't end it with Marco getting rejected. It'll ruin his whole image. Yeah, it's not a great look. Maybe we can fix it. How are you feeling? You ready to talk? I'm just so embarrassed. I thought this would help me get over my ex, but it just made me miss him more. What would you say to Marco if you had the chance? He's a really great guy. And he deserves someone really special. You shot this in high resolution, I assume. Do you even need to ask? No, but the audio suspect. We'll have to subtitle it. Tough crowd. Still, it works. Look at you, Romeo. Saving the episode. Just gotta run it by Keith. That might be difficult. You fired him? I found his lack of respect to be a bit troubling. I'm the executive producer. Not an unpaid intern. Well, who's gonna take his place? Have someone in mind. That is, if you think they'll fit. Uh. <laughs> Don't let me down. Welcome back to another season of Heart Choices. It's time to meet this year's King of Hearts. My name is Marco Tate, I'm 32 years old, and I'm ready to find love. You're on a dating show, buddy, you better be. This is, this is the most important part. I'm a former pro football player from Columbus, Ohio. I'm super competitive, but I have a soft side as well. Here's to finding the queen of my heart. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Athlete from the Midwest, please. They could at least make it challenging. These are gonna be the easiest fantasy picks I ever made. He said like two words. How do you know who he's gonna pick? We all have our skills. Mine just happens to be a useless one. Stay tuned to meet the 16 lucky ladies that will vie for his hand on this season of Heart Choices. None of you guys are here for Marco. They're gonna make this one the villain. And how do you know this? The villains are always pointing. People think that I'm shallow, but I'm actually, I'm deep. I'm talking, I'm ocean deep. And always have non-existent jobs. My favorite animal of the sea would have to be the dolphin, because they seem sweet and innocent, but they can kill sharks, so. I'm keeping my eye on this one. She's a shoe in for the semis. It's my absolute passion to bring delectable treats to people, and I can't wait for Marco to try them. Okay, hot shot. What's gonna happen with Candace D? Oh, she's a top five pick for me. But I smell a secret. I know this is hard for you, Marco. Still, you have to choose. 
Who's it gonna be? Candace. Will you step forward? Here it comes. Wait for it. Will you accept this heart and continue this journey with me? I'm sorry. Can the King of Hearts recover from unexpected rejection? Tune in next week to find out on Heart Choices. Did I call it or what? I never should have doubted you. Well done. <laughs> well done yourself. It's gorgeous. You think so? I'm so nervous about my meeting tomorrow that I thought I should at least put one more look together. Oh my gosh, your investor meeting, that's tomorrow? Katie Creighton of Creighton Metro Capital, 3 p.m. sharp. I'm officially the worst. I completely forgot. I never would have made you watch mindless TV with me. Oh no, it's fine. I needed something to distract me. My head is in a million places right now. Your designs are unique and your business plan is solid. You're golden. Thank you. I'm trying to not be nervous, but after all the work I've put into this, it's hard to not worry about the rejection. Not to mention how badly I want to stop waiting tables and put all my energy into this. You'll get there. You really think so? I know so. The designs feel fresh. That's a start. Thanks. Production could use a little work. OK. Who makes your patterns? I do, actually. Hmm. How do you plan to scale? As you'll see in my business plan, once I get seed money, I'm going to focus a healthy portion on marketing. I guess my biggest question is, why? Why should women buy from you? How do you rise above the noise? Uh, well, on page eight of my pitch deck, there's- This isn't something you can find in a pitch deck. This is something you have to go out there and earn. You're very talented, but I don't think you're quite what we are looking for at CMC. So what exactly are you looking for? If you expect us to go above and beyond to make Silver Halo a household name, we expect you to be doing the same. she not invest? Your designs are next level. Apparently my work ethic isn't. You're the hardest worker I know. She doesn't think I'm willing to go above and beyond for my brand. What does that even mean? It means you'll find another partner. Someone better. You're the best. Okay. Spill it. Okay, fine, but I feel bad telling you when you're so sad. I will feel a lot worse if you don't. Okay, so I happen to be browsing a few fan sites for heart choices, as I am known to do, and I may have stumbled on a special announcement. And? They're coming to the Bay Area to cast mid-season replacements. Tomorrow! I'm totally going. You're totally kidding, right? Oh, okay. Yay! <laughs> I still can't believe you're doing this. Why? You're the one who said I needed to get out more. Not like this. <laughs> Haley, if I get this, I'll be wearing evening gowns half the time. Your evening gowns. Do you know how much that could help your sales? Yeah, all for the price my best friend sold. <laughs> Don't be so dramatic. It's a game. A game I'm going to be really good at. Hold up. What's this? Relax. It's a photo release. Just means if we're on the premises, we're agreeing to be filmed. What? I never agreed to that. <laughs> if you're so paranoid, just wait outside. But if you are the least bit curious to peek behind the curtain, I'll be on the seventh floor. The right to edit or alter, what? You here for the casting? Uh, no, no, my friend is. I'm just here for moral support. Oh. Well, you can't provide a whole lot of moral support from down here, can you? <laughs> True, but... There's a part of me that wants to protest her decision, and I haven't decided which side is going to win. Hmm. Must not be a big fan of the show then, huh? I mean, it's fine <laughs> if you want to veg out for two hours, but the overall concept is pretty ridiculous. Love is something that just happens. It can't be staged. Well, you'd be amazed at what we can do in the editing room. You're with the show? Come to the seventh floor. Find out. Wow, great. Really great stuff, Carla. Thank you so much. Really unique. Um, we'll let you know if we need you. Well, what about me? Oh, uh, hey, don't worry, Darla. You're in the mix, too. <laughs> bye bye. 
Puppy girl's out, I take it? Unfortunately, her dummy was way more interesting than she was. Is Slim Pickens out here? Are you sure this was a good idea? I had to do something. Emily is expecting big things out of me. I have to deliver. Well, if you could hurry it up, I'd appreciate it. Hey, you are in one of my favorite cities with one of your favorite co-workers, okay? Try and enjoy yourself. Mm, I would if I thought this was gonna pay off. But so far as a bust, and you know it. Just sip your latte and be patient, okay? She's out there. I feel it. Oh, you know I don't do feelings. Next! I'm gonna take five. This is all you. Hi. Oh, wow. I knew you'd come. Of course you knew. What was my tell? Just that you love me and you secretly want to help me crush this thing. Okay, well, let's get to work. Okay. Why do you want to be with Marco? Free vacation to Hawaii. Whoa, way too honest. Because we're destined to be together. A lot of conviction for a man you've never met. Maybe we try something in the middle? I'm willing to do the work that it takes to build a long and lasting relationship. If Marco shares those values, then it was meant to be. Well, now you're scaring me. I told you, I'm good at this. So go on a game show and win a car. Or go on this and win a fiance. Mm, cars are a lot easier to trade in. <laughs> Look, you've made it clear this is a bad idea. Terrible idea, but go on. But I'll be doing it all in your dresses, building a following for your line. Eh, I'll find some other way to reach the masses. OK, look, it's not only about you. I have a plan. I don't want to win. I want first runner up. Because? Because first runner up becomes Queen of Hearts next season. And statistically, couples last longer when the woman picks. Move over, Marco. It's my time to shine. Bree Manford. That's me. Why don't you have your friend come in as well? You know, for moral support. Please. You've got it. Are, Are you, you serious? serious? I wouldn't joke about offering you a spot on Hard Choices. Uh, but her audition hasn't even started yet. Well, let's just say we've seen enough. Great. How? Well, casting for a show like this is more of an art than a science. I got to go with my gut. And so far, my gut has not let me down. I really think Marco and all of Heart Nation will be very interested in you. Now, for the contracts. Awfully thick. Well, it's because there's two of them. One for each of you. The network likes the idea of best friends going on the show together. By the network, you mean you? Well, I represent the network, so yes. Usually, the women on the show are frenemies at best. I think it would be great to showcase a true friendship for once. So why not just get two best friends who are actually fans of the show? I mean, I already told you how I feel about it. Well, I think it would be refreshing to have a skeptic on the show. And have a contestant that the other half of America will relate to. I'm sorry, but it's not happening. At least not for me. Well, unfortunately, we have to take both of you or neither of you. So the choice is yours. Can we have a minute? Absolutely. <clears throat> uh, with the camera off. Thanks. Haley, this is great. We can both wear your dresses. The promotion will be priceless. You don't think it feels too fake, too weird? It's a week in Hawaii with me. How bad can it get? I don't know if you want me to answer that. Don't think of it as anything but a business decision. That's all. That investor you met with asked if you would go above and beyond for your business. What do you call this? Well, this is beyond beyond. But yeah, I see your point. Maybe this is a way to prove that I am willing to think outside the box to promote my brand. Yes. But still, I don't love the idea of putting our privacy in the hands of that scheming producer. You two done talking about me yet? So, what's it gonna be? <sighs> wow. Can you believe this? It's beautiful. What have we done? I made a flow chart of how the next week could play out on the flight. If we stick to the plan, we all get what we want and no one gets hurt. This really is a game to you. Eyes on the prize, baby. Eyes on the prize. Oh boy. What am I gonna do with you? 
Hi, I, I'm Haley. If you remember, I think we met briefly at the audition. I appreciate the refresher. Now cough it up. She wants your phone. Oh, look, somebody read their welcome packet. For those of you who forgot, my name is Marie, and I am your first AD, a.k.a. assistant director, a.k.a. your worst nightmare if you don't do what I say. Have you read your contracts? Nope, no one does, so I'll sum it up. Rule number one, for the next seven days, you belong to us. No devices, no news, no social media. We shoot the episodes a few weeks before they air, so whatever goes down on set, keep it to yourself. What if we slip up and say something? You see how many people piled out of that golf cart? We have three times as many lawyers back at this studio. So that thought, along with this riveting speech, should keep you from slipping up. Rule two, the minute you step out of your bungalow, the cameras are on, mics are live. If you don't want it filmed, don't say it. Three, stay away from Marco. Unless we're here to film it. I do not like secret rendezvous. You did not come here for privacy, so get that out of your head now. Rule number four, stay away from the fountains. Wait, what's in the fountains? A mixture of arsenic and sulfuric acid. Serious? Of course not, but I'm serious about staying away from them. Right. Sorry, I was just curious. Don't be curious. That's not a rule, but still, it annoys me. Believe me, life is much better when I'm not annoyed. Rule number five. Your best friend around here is? Let me guess. You. <laughs> okay. Sorry, yeah, I sometimes like to joke, but I won't. I won't do that. It's your call sheet. It lists out a personal schedule of where you should be and when you should be there. What's the first thing yours says? A uh, three. Lobby B-roll. 1.30. Perfect. I'll have time to do some yoga first. Oh, good call. I could use a good stretch. Oh, really? So could I. I would love to breathe in some good intentions. Too bad our call sheet says otherwise. Uh, Haley interview, overlook noon. That's in 10 minutes. Ooh, best lighting in the whole place. Better take some selfies. I can't, though. You took my phone. I know. <laughs> Sometimes I like the joke, too. <laughs> uh. We gotta hurry. You don't wanna be late for your first interview. Live mics, golf carts full of lawyers. Are we really doing this? Oh, come on. What happened to going above and beyond? I'm trying. There's just one problem. How am I gonna pretend to be smitten with Marco Tate of Columbus, Ohio? I don't know how long I can fake this. Might not be much longer. There's an elimination ceremony tonight. Three girls get a heart, three girls get sent home. Formal attire required. There's a way I can win tonight. I'll wear one of my best evening gowns, get my dress noticed by millions of people, get eliminated, and get sent home. Well, what if Marco gives you a heart? He won't. I'll make sure of it. If anyone can blow their chances with America's heartthrob, it's yours truly. <laughs> Enough chit chat, ladies! Time to go! Oh, boy. Uh, well, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Question. Well, I have several, actually. How about I just call you curious from now on? I just need to know what this interview is all about. Well, we used it to introduce you to the audience. Haley, 20-something, why you want to be with Marco? Why I want to be with Marco? I haven't really thought about that too deeply. Well, you got about a 10 seconds while they mic you up. You think of something. I is there someone else who can interview me? Honey, Luke is a showrunner. You might as well get used to him. I just feel like he manipulates the questions to make you say what he wants. Hmm. Welcome to reality TV. Perfect. You ready? Yep, ready right. as I'll ever be. Right here, here we go. Can I ask what you're doing exactly? Just doing a little yoga while I have a break. Yeah, I could see that, but why are you blindfolded? Partly to prevent distractions from random strangers. My bad. But mostly to strengthen my core. With your eyes closed, it's much harder to balance. To be honest, nothing about that looks hard. We'll give it a try, tough guy. I thought you'd never ask. All right, 
I am blindfolded. What now? Put your hands in prayer position and bend your right knee. Rest your right foot on your left knee or on the upper thigh. And just hold that as long as you can. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't kidding, that is harder. Thanks for showing me, who knew? I'm glad I could be your impromptu instructor. I haven't seen you around. Are you new to the crew? You could say that, yes. Well, thanks for the pointers. Definitely need to do more yoga. At least to help me de-stress. Especially before these eliminations. I'm Marco, by the way. What's your name? I'm... I'm late for something important. Bye! For real? It's nice to meet you, too! Okay, instead of an interview, let's have more of a rapid-fire conversation. Favorite street food? Tacos. Favorite drink? Rosé. Favorite first date? A short one. Why is that? You always have the option to extend a date if it's going well, but if it's not, somehow it feels like time is in slow motion. I can see that. Sounds like my job description sometimes. Interesting. So, so how am I doing right now? Is this, uh, is this okay or is it like watching paint dry? Hey, now, I ask the questions around here, okay? Fine. Why did your last relationship end? Apparently I deflect too much. Why did yours? Oh, she didn't like my job. Hey, now, stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Do you think you're ready to meet Marco tonight? Why else would I be here? <laughs> hey, Luke. Emily wants to show you my latest string out. I right, just tell her I'm finishing up here. I think you better come now. Sounds serious. Excuse me. <clears throat> There's a way I can win tonight. I'll wear one of my best evening gowns, get my dress noticed by millions of people, and get eliminated and go home. Well, what if Marco gives you a heart? He won't. I'll make sure of it. I told you she had a story. Well, it's a rather short one if she leaves tonight. Emily, please, have a little faith, okay? She's gonna stick around. I got this. Get it back? Okay. We're yeah. all set, thanks. Is that good? Okay. <laughs> Looking good, Haley. Trying. <laughs> so, we've been here just over an hour, and I already broke rule number three. Which rule is that again? There's too many, it's hard to keep track. I met Marco. Alone. You did? Well, he thought I was a crew member on break and he joined me for yoga. You little rule breaker. I didn't know it was him. I was doing my blindfolded practice. That's all you do. <laughs> oh, sorry. Go on. Anyway, once I realized it was him, I totally freaked. My flow chart went out the window. So what did you do? I ran away. No, you did not. But then I realized that was actually the best thing I could have done. With all these girls fawning over him, playing hard to get could be the key to winning. There's just one problem. You don't want to win. True. But you know what I mean. So what was he like? Mm, a little cocky, but fun. And even cuter in person than he is on TV. Ladies, you know it's not nice to talk about me behind my back. It's also not nice to sneak up on people and scare them. Sorry, we have a schedule change. We need you two on the patio with the other contestants in 20 minutes. Poolside wine tasting? Whoa, whoa, what happened to the formal dinner? Well, so. A lot of effort to get dressed up every night. We thought we'd give you all a break. Keep it casual. <laughs> that is very sweet of you, but um, when will we be getting dressed up in evening wear? Well, with all these schedule changes, it looks like you won't be able to do that until yeah, the finale. See you in 20 minutes. Like he knew what my plan was and totally thwarted it. We gotta be more careful. Careful? Those cameras outside, they must have heard us. Great, and now I'm stuck till the finale. Look at it this way. Every minute you're on screen means more eyeballs on you and your brand. Wearing what? Look, next all the evening wear events till the end. Wine tasting, poolside casual. Just wear one of your sump dresses. No, I can do better. I just need my sewing kit. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, you're late. Where's Haley? Uh, she's coming. Sorry, it took me a minute to improvise something. Very ambitious. Okay, let's go, we're rolling, come on. Well, they seem nice. I'm gonna guess no one told them we were coming. Also, why are there four of them? Weren't there 10 in the last episode? Well, they shot a bunch of episodes in between them. These ladies have been through the ringer. That explains why they're staring daggers at us. More like broadswords. Should we kill them with kindness? Famous last words. Who's gonna take Vanessa? Not it. I'd rather deal with two Skylers and a Luann than deal with her. Okay, fine. I'll take one for the team. On the plus side, she's next to the cheese platter. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> All right. Silver Halo on three. Ready? Break. Is this seat taken? It is now. I'm Luann. I saw the season premiere. You were so brave on that zip line. Thanks. I'm Haley B. I just got here today. We noticed. Vanessa warned us, but I didn't believe it. So, what are you, a fashion designer or something? Actually, yes. <laughs> That's typical. I think I'm gonna go get some Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, 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 if it isn't the Skylers. <laughs> yeah. I'm Haley, I'm not Skylar. I'm... Okay. So, uh, how's it going with Marco? Amazing. We formed a strong foundation from day one and we've continued to build from there. And the chemistry, well... <laughs> You can't fake that. That pottery date was so romantic. You've been watching the show? Do people think that I'm a front runner? You're definitely a household name. <gasps> Who are they painting as the villain this season? It's Skylar B, isn't it? You can tell me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Vanessa, have you met Haley? Best friends, I take it. Since we were eight years old. <laughs> How cute. Here for each other. Me, I'm here for Marco. And I am not leaving this island without him. Uh, what just happened? She's playing the clip game. Every time she gets a clip, good or bad, it makes her role bigger. So people remember her? And she stays on the show. Oh. Marco! Hey, man. Okay, let's use the earpiece sparingly, all right? We don't want it to sound too canned. Are people saying that it does? No, we, we always smooth things out in editing. It just always sounds better when it's from the heart, you know? Yours, not mine. I'm sorry, man. It's, it's muscle memory. I mean, all those years with my coach on the headset calling in the plays. And this is a lot more stressful. Well, we're going to mix things up tonight. So, look, I trust you. Just roll with it. Have fun. Don't be afraid to call an audible. <laughs> Are you sure? Because Keith always said to just say what you told me. Well, Keith isn't here anymore. It'll be great. And now, it's time for the King of Hearts to meet some new faces. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Bree, it feels like we've met before. I know what you mean. Where would it have been? Uh, a concert or a coffee shop, a yoga class? If you keep me around a while, I'm sure we'll figure it out. So I hear that you're a risk assessor for a large insurance firm. What's that like? A matter of life and death. <laughs> <laughs> I like a girl with a good sense of humor. I like a guy with a great laugh. Fill in the blank. OK. I don't want to leave this island without seeing a rainbow. You've never seen a rainbow? Not a Hawaiian rainbow. What's the difference? They're supposed to be magical. I mean, this is the rainbow state, after all. I'll keep my eyes peeled for you. Thank you. Last question. OK. Describe your perfect first date. Something relaxed but active, chill but also challenging. 
Have you ever heard of blindfolded yoga? I'll have to check it out. Well, I'm really looking forward to getting to know you more, Brie. Me too. Was that all him? Every word. Way to go, Marco. Might not need that earpiece after all. Right? <laughs> go for Marie. Why does he need an earpiece? <sighs> you scared me. Well, now I know how it feels, but seriously, is he wearing an earpiece? It's just precautionary. Are you feeding him his lines? No. I, sometimes we'd like to give a, you know, a romantic assist, that's all. If only dating was a team sport. Well, around here, it kind of is. Anybody got eyes on Haley B? Five, four, three. What? What are you doing back here? Talon is not allowed in Video Village. Oh, you called me Talon. I thought my name was Curious. I don't care what your name is. Get out here. So how do I know if I'm talking to you or him out there? Ooh, you don't. Time is money! Marco, hi! Hi. <laughs> so nice to meet you. You too. Ask her uh, where she got the dress. Where'd you get your dress? Oh, I actually made it myself this afternoon. Amazing. How long did it take? How long did it take you? About 27 minutes. I had something else planned, but, you know, had to make a game time decision. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look absolutely stunning. Well, you look absolutely stunning. Let's just say you inspired me. Marie, do you copy? Go for Marie. Over to channel two, please. Hey. Hey, don't look at me. These are the names Emily gave over the walkie. You sure you heard it right? Well, it was a lot of static. Luke, whatever you're doing, I didn't see it. Thank you. this adventure will come to an end for three of these lovely ladies. Marco, are you ready to make some heart choices? Here we go. Vanessa, would you step forward? No one can deny that you are your own woman. <laughs> and every time I see you, I can't help but wonder what's gonna happen next. Will you accept this heart? Of course. <laughs> Somehow I feel like we've always known each other. And I'd hate for you to not see that rainbow. Mm. Will you accept this heart? I... Yes. <laughs> Duan, would you step forward? Your knowledge of astrology is, well, astronomical. <laughs> I always knew that I was a Cancer, but without you, I never would have known that my moon was in Virgo, let alone the fact that my Venus was in Gemini. <laughs> Ironically, the more you taught me about my chart, the more I realized that our stars don't actually align. I, I may have never realized that without you, so thank you. You're welcome. Unfortunately, I don't have a heart for you tonight.
Haley, can you step forward? You're smart, ambitious. Word on the street is you're also very curious. I haven't been able to spend much time with you yet. So I'm curious to find out who the real Haley is. Will you accept this heart? Margo, I'd love for you to get to know the real me. But in order for that to happen, this needs to go both ways. You can't be the only one asking the questions. Relationships are based on trust. If you want me to be open with you, I need you to be open with me too. Is that fair? Absolutely. <laughs> We made it through our first heart ceremony. Thanks, I think. I can't believe I'm holding an actual heart choices ceremonial heart with my name on it. <laughs> I can't wait to show the girls my bracket. They're gonna freak. <laughs> wait, what happened to yours? I think I have a pretty good theory. Let me guess, another one of your gut feelings? Isn't that why you hired me? Surprises are for the audience, not the host, Luke. Lou Ann has had five episodes to pop. Her story was played out. Mm -hmm. I had a hunch that Haley would deliver tonight, so I changed the play. Honestly, I think Marco was really intrigued by her response. You sure he's the one who's intrigued? Look, you hired me to run this show. You have to trust me. OK. But if at any point I feel like things are slipping away, I will snatch that golden headset from you as quick as I gave it. Understand? Loud and clean. A romantic assist? Gross. Luke said it's not all the time, but Marco definitely wears an earpiece during the elimination ceremony. You can see it if you look close. That's crazy. For a minute, it felt so organic. It almost felt real. To be fair, I did hear him tell Marie that he specifically was not coaching Marco during your meet and greet. But there were times during mine when I swear Luke was talking directly to me. Interesting. Well, at least we know what we're dealing with. Speaking of, we should go over the next phase of the plan. Tomorrow. If it's a group date, let Vanessa drive the train. Drive the train or the train rack? Exactly. Let her go down in flames and we look like the better choice. If it's a one-on-one, -on -one, play the ambivalent card harder. Make Marco work for it. And if it's a double? That's where things get tricky. I'm really struggling, Bree. The more I think about it, I feel like Luke's wardrobe curveball may have put us in a lose-lose situation. What do you mean? Say everything goes to plan, right? Vanessa gets eliminated, we both make it to the final ceremony, we look stunning in our silver halo evening wear. Sounds pretty great so far. Until he gives out the final heart. Neither of us wants to win, but inevitably he is going to give one of us the heart. We can't both be second place. Shoot, you're right. And I definitely don't have a flow chart for that scenario. What do we do? Mm, I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. And whatever it is, we do it together. There's nobody on earth I'd rather face nationally broadcasted primetime humiliation with. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Nice work, H. Could be nicer. Meet me in the garden to find out how. Come alone or not at all. No signature. Not official show stationery. This is Black Ops or a trap or something. You shouldn't go. I wouldn't if I were you. Yeah, but your nickname isn't curious. <laughs> Hello? Hello? OK, good one. You got me. Although I'm a very easy mark, so don't be too proud of yourself. You don't give yourself enough credit. Even I underestimated you. Challenging Marco with that speech about trust was a pro-level move. Brava, my dear. Brava. Vanessa, we shouldn't be... No need to whisper. The fountain scrambles the audio. Why else would there be a no fountains rule? This is the only place us girls can tell secrets. I'd like to propose a partnership. With me? As arch rivals, of course. If we up the ante together, we could send the ratings through the roof. Define upping the ante. Don't be coy. You know exactly what I mean. The nice girl persona will only get you so far. 
If you want to make an impression, you need to show some edge. Throw a tantrum. Lock yourself in your bathroom and refuse to come out. Toss wine in my face. <laughs> what? You don't think I could take it? Oh, no, no, it's not that. You it's... think that I can dish it out, but I'm too prissy to get my hands dirty. I assure you, that's not what Throw I... Throw wine in my face. I, I'm not going oh, to do come that. come on. It's a safe space. No cameras. No Marco. Give it a go. Let me prove that I mean business. Do it. <laughs> hmm. Not bad for your first go. Next time, keep your eyes open and make sure to follow through. Oh! Think about my offer. It won't last much longer. You know where to find me. Yep. Yeah. Should I be sad that Vanessa didn't want to form an alliance with me? <laughs> Go ahead, she's all yours. <laughs> she probably thinks you're a threat if she thinks she needs help taking you down. Look at you, figuring out the strategy. <laughs> I learned from the best. You mean me or Vanessa? Oh, now I guess both. <laughs> By the way, did you see her name wasn't on the call sheet for the group date? She's gonna be so mad she missed out. They must be playing up the drama of two best friends vying for the same man. Cue dramatic drum beat. <laughs> Little do they know, we are the ones playing them. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Okay, cowgirls, I hope you like horses because it's time to saddle up. I love horses. I grew up with them. And I'm deathly allergic to them. Oh, a police horse nuzzled her at a parade in fifth grade. She had to go to the ER. And you're just telling me this now? What did you think a 10 a.m. ride meant? Mountain biking? <laughs> we have an issue. Haley is severely allergic to horses. Well, there goes our double date dramatics. Oh, yeah, too bad. So that's an early wrap then, huh? Yeah, nice try. No, we'll just have to, uh, we'll have to divide and conquer. I don't have the crew or the gear to run two separate units. Right. Um, okay, well, I'll run camera here, continue my interview with Haley, and you, you can direct the main unit with Brian Marco. <laughs> What's the matter? You worried you won't be able to fill my cowboy boots? I'm worried you're gonna leave the lens cap on. Ouch. <laughs> I may be rusty, but it hasn't been that long. How about I do the interview with Haley so you can stay with First Tee? Unless you have a preference. Why? <laughs> what does it seem like I do? Guess we'll tune in next week to find out. We all set, cameras? All right, let's do this. When I call action, you're gonna walk the horse and slowly towards me. Then look back at Bree like you're infatuated with her. Then Bree, you do the same. Then we'll reset till we get it right. That was a lot of information. Did you get all that? They have a very specific way of doing things around here. It can be really annoying. I don't get it. You're the star. Why don't you just tell them you want to improvise? I realize every time I try, they yell quiet on the set. Well, maybe if you just... Quiet on the set! <laughs> Told you. Hold the roll. We're reloading. Honestly, I'm pretty used to it. What do you mean? Ever since the Pee Wee Leagues, I've always had a coach in my ear. And then in the pros, I, I got a physical trainer, diet consultant, a financial planner. The list goes on and on. Mm. Gets to the point you don't do anything without asking someone first. Maybe it's time to call a reverse. I'll just gallop off in the other direction, never let them catch me. I grew up in downtown Columbus. I have never galloped in my life. Do you trust me? But um, more importantly, yeah. I do think we need to talk about your dating life. Oh, my dating life. Yes. Okay. Um, what's, your, what's your MO? Do you like to be friends first? Uh -huh. You know, I don't believe in MOs. 
I think if you got something good, then friendship goes in the back burner pretty fast. Okay. Okay, keep going. Ideal woman. Ideal woman. Um, well, I don't know how to describe her per se. All I know is when I meet her, I'll feel it. Okay, what about you? Describe for me Haley B's ideal man. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, he makes me laugh. And... He's there when I cry, he's passionate. He's not threatened by a partner who wants something more in life as well. And most importantly, he um, has a priority straight. He'd move mountains to make sure we're together. What, you don't like my answer? I can work with that. So when is the real interview gonna start? That's the beauty, it's done. What? But, but where were those loaded questions and clever turns of phrase you're so fond of? Oh, I have a list in my notebook if you want me to get it out. No, no, you don't, you don't need to grab your notebook. This is much more open. Thanks for the reminder at the ceremony last night. I really needed it. You're welcome. Made me think about why I got into this business in the first place. I mean, not reality TV, I'm just filmmaking. Documentaries, specifically. It's what I studied in college, at least. And now you're doing this? I know. <laughs> I know. I've, I've turned to the dark side. I get it. But in a way, you did too, right? I don't want to talk about it. Well, good, because I already packed the camera and everything up, so I'm not getting all that back out. <laughs> I would hate to anchor Yeah, no, you. come on. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm done for the day. I learned something new today. What's that? Horses are faster than golf carts. <laughs> <laughs> I am never going to hear the end of this from Marie, <laughs> but it's so worth it. Oh, it's so nice to not have a camera in my face. Which kind of begs the question, why did you come on a reality show? What, you didn't buy my line? It's a journey I've never been more ready to take. <laughs> I swear, every King of Hearts has said that same line since season one. Oh, so you do watch the show? Like, when I have time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I blew out my knee, I knew that football wasn't in the cards for me anymore. Mm. My agent thought it would be a good idea to do it, to keep me in the spotlight, he said. I know how that sounds, but I'm, I'm just being honest. I was worried that people would forget about me. You were all pro in your rookie season. I don't think you have to worry about that. So you're a sports fan, too? <laughs> I dabble. <laughs> All right, what about you? You seem like a deep person. Why would you go on a notoriously shallow dating show? <laughs> uh, wait, do you see that? What? It looks like it's raining over there and it's still sunny over here. Right, <laughs> you're on Rainbow Watch. Do you see one? Maybe it's one of those things you can't find until you stop looking for it. Maybe you're right. We should probably start heading back. Just a few more minutes. Okay, fine. You could have killed the King of Hearts. What were you thinking? He said he'd never ridden before, but he was fine. A total natural. We found the best view and just sat and talked. Still didn't see a rainbow, though. I have faith in you. This is gonna sound really cliche, given the circumstances, but I actually feel a real connection with him. Interesting. He really opened up to me today. It was refreshing to see a guy be so vulnerable. It caught me off guard. This is so meta right now, it's freaking me out. I know, I promised I wouldn't let myself get sucked into this, but honestly, I can't stop thinking about him. Is that insane? No, but this is... Jin, again, that's three games in a row. No deflecting, I need your help with this. Okay, sorry, sorry, I totally understand. Partly because I had a great time with Luke today. Not you two. Mm, we spent two hours together at the ranch and it felt like it was 20 minutes. I know what that means. It's the worst, a sure sign that you're into somebody. <sighs> How did we let them get to us? We totally caved to their manipulations. You know what, no. We have to give ourselves more credit than that. What we're feeling could be real. 
We just have to make sure we're vetting it properly. Exactly, and we'll help each other stay extra aware so we don't get distracted by the hype of the show. Right. <gasps> oh my I gosh, your heart! Heart! Marco's taking you on the deserted island fantasy date? Don't be too offended. It's not like these dates are Marco's idea. More likely this came from Luke. Well, don't make it personal. He's just doing his job. You're right. No need to get distracted, right? I mean, we can't control what's going to happen, but we can make sure we stay on an even keel. Right. So where's Marco and the rest of the crew? Uh, had to drop them off early to make sure Luke got all his B-roll. We're a splinter unit today, single camera. And a single boat, I guess. Well, there's only one person insured to drive talent. I'll give you a hint who that is. She's walking beside you and smells like gasoline. Oh. Uh, do I have to do CrossFit too? No, you are all booked up for a romantic walk on the beach, romantic shell collecting, and a romantic lunch. Hmm. Okay, everybody. We got two hours to shoot this before the swell gets to be too big for the SS Minnow. So, let's do fantasy speed date, okay? We'll just do rapid fire, no breaks. All right, let's move, come on. He really takes all the romance out of it. Keep telling yourself that. And action! Here, what do you think? Oh, that'll look great on the necklace I'm making. You make jewelry too? <laughs> I dabble. I swear you and Bria like twins. <laughs> really? Yeah. We both say some of the same little phrases, have some of the same mannerisms. It's, it's really cute. Well, it makes sense. We have been attached at the hip since the third grade. Not long, huh? Well, there was a brief separation in February of seventh grade, but other than that, yes. Uh-oh. What was the drama? <laughs> uh, a boy she liked sent me a cookie gram for Valentine's Day. It was the whole thing. I can imagine. <laughs> since then, we vowed never to let a boy come between us. Until now, at least. Nice try. We came here in solidarity, and whatever happens, we're going to leave her stronger than ever. Well, we can't use that clip. Let's just let it play out. Emily's going to lose it if these girls keep themselves in this friendship bubble. I think it's endearing. Making necklaces for each other. Don't they know they're on a reality show? What's the matter? You never had a best friend before? I did, once. But then he got obsessed with somebody at work and faded into obscurity. Oh, boy, it's worse than I thought. Hey, everybody out of the water! What's wrong? I think I saw him. Ah! 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 Jellyfish. Hey, hey, we got a medic at the dock waiting for you, okay? You're gonna be all right. <sighs> it really hurts. Well, at least it wasn't a box jellyfish. <laughs> but I am glad we got you out when we did. Hey, hey, you getting all this? Seriously? Hey, we can all go in one trip. This boat maxes out of three people. Uh, I, I gotta drive, Oscar's gotta shoot. We can't let today be a total wash. Uh, okay, well, I can stay. I'll stay. Is that okay, Haley? Of course. Great. Uh, if there's any trouble, there's plenty of supplies in the hut. Wait, what kind of supplies? Wine, catered lunch, a whole <laughs> lot of tiki torches. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The doctor thinks you'll be walking within the hour. That's a relief. From here for the show. Marco, please, who do you take me for? Say the word, and I will cancel the rest of the day. We can definitely postpone the paint sip with Vanessa. Thank you. Marie, can you let her know? You're the boss. And when you're done, will you let Bree know that her golf date with Marco isn't going to happen? I'm sure she'll be upset, so break it to her gently. You know what? I think I'll manage. It's already feeling better, and I don't want to put you guys behind schedule, so. What a trooper. Thank you. Now, where's Luke? I need an updated shot list. We had to leave him on the island with Haley. The capacity maxes out at three people. The boat fits five people. I did not know that. Well, now that you do, why don't you go get them? Copy that. <laughs> Just as soon as the tide's back out. Yeah, it looks like Marco's recovering nicely. And Marie's gonna come back as soon as the swell dies down. 
No cameras, a private beach, catering, wine. Unacceptable. Is this a new one? <laughs> I made it this morning. Nothing you can't do with scissors, safety pins, and hem tape. How did you even get into all that? Designing my own clothes? It's spring from desperation. My mom made all my dance team's outfits in middle school, but then she bought this thing that blinged out your leotard, and I'm sure you have no idea what I'm talking about. Are you kidding me? I've got twin sisters. Their closet was fully bedazzled. Oh, <laughs> I stand corrected. So anyway, I took over on dancewear, and it just clicked. I love helping people look their best. And then I got a scholarship to fashion school, and the rest is history. Mm. Well, uh, except for the part where I haven't been able to find investors or successfully launch my line. That part is kind of TBD. It'll happen. I mean, it takes a lot of resilience to do what you do. People like you don't give up. You mean people like us? Mm, I don't know about that. You're the hardest worker on this set. Well, maybe except for Marie. Fair. <laughs> I mean, come on, you're show running a network show. You wear the golden headphones. You've already succeeded. Mm, but it's not what I wanted. It's not what I set out to do. OK, then what did you set out to do? You sure you want to know? It's a long story. I think I have time. I'm glad we have this alone time. I started to feel so distant from you ever since you know who came on the show. I think it threw us all for a loop. None of that matters now. It's just me and you. And the canvas, of course. I'm dying to see what the muse has inspired you to do. Oh, I think we might have to manage your expectations a bit. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be great. As a philosophile. Philoso what? Excuse me, it means lover of the sea. Naturally, I draw my inspiration from the deep. But this time, I was inspired by something equally as intriguing. You. Marco? Hmm. Did, did you hear what I said? Yeah, totally. I'm, I'm sorry, can you, can you say it again? Look, it's OK. No need to apologize. You've had a really stressful day. Yeah. I'm ready to show you my painting. What do you think? Wow. That is something. I know. The, the detail. The scales are perfectly to scale. That was the hardest part. This is not good. It's better than anything I could do. I'm not talking about the merman. I'm talking about the fact that they've been painting for an hour and he said a total of five words to her. He's losing all interest in our highest rated contestant. Well, maybe it's just a jellyfish incident. That really shook him up. What shook him up was Brie coming on the show. You saw the way that he reacted when I canceled their date? A complete 180. He's falling in love with her. Isn't that the point? Not when you could see it coming from a mile away. America wants a surprise ending. They want to be shocked. We're gonna have to tip the scales. It's a docu-series where we take people 100 years or older and we do a featurette on their lives, their history, the impact that they've made. It's called Centurions. It's kind of a play on words. I would totally binge watch that. Really? Yeah. I mean, think about the collective knowledge they have. Right. Like, think about all the stories that they must have. And, you know, its whole goal would be to, to, to capture their lives and preserve their memories forever. That is a great idea. You should definitely do it. Well, it's easier said than done. <laughs> I know the feeling all too well. I mean, I swore that I wouldn't do this show after the first season, and here I am, five years later. Well, you got promoted. That's a big deal. No, it is. Yeah. And if the network likes what I do here, they might take a risk on my series in the future. Who knows? That's great. It's a lot of pressure. Pressure can turn coal into diamonds. Hmm. golf cart? Only after I was attacked by a wild animal. Well, I'm happy you're out and about, but we should probably cancel the golf date, right? I was actually wondering if we could head up there early. Just get there before the cameras arrive. 
Okay, but where are the golf clubs? Don't worry about it. How are we going to golf with no golf clubs? Do you trust me? <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Why are we going so fast? Because they don't want to miss it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Ten more seconds. What are we waiting for exactly? For your wildest dream to come true. This better be good. All right, five, four, three, two. Ta-da! Hawaiian rainbows, <laughs> just like you asked for. I told you I'd find you one. It's so beautiful, but I don't think it counts. Oh, come on! <sighs> Do I at least get credit for effort? Extra credit. So, what do we do now? There's only one option as far as I'm concerned. What did you decide? What do you mean? About the next elimination. No one's around. You can tell me who's it going to be. <laughs> You'll have to ask Marco. Oh, come on. You don't have to play coy with me. I know you're the one pulling the strings. Oh, yeah? OK, prove it. Oh, uh, well, first it was the wardrobe switcheroo, then it was the earpiece reveal, and then the clincher was my name and what I'm assuming was your handwriting on the heart that Marco gave me. Very good, counsel. <laughs> you have any further evidence? Just tell me who you're sending home, Vanessa or me. How do you know it's not Bree? Well, you'd be stupid to send Brie home. She's the only one with any actual chemistry with Marco. <laughs> Why do you want to know so bad? Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm going to get a heart. I don't want to be in the finale. What happened to wearing your evening gown on national television? <sighs> it's not worth getting petted against Brie. Even though it's fake drama, it feels so seventh grade. Cookie Gate Part 2? <laughs> exactly. Just send me gracefully into the night. I'll find a better way to promote my brand. So you want me to get you eliminated, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, there's just one problem with that. Oh, yeah? What's that? I don't want you to leave. Hey, you two! What I meant? You got uh, nothing? You got nothing. Then, OK, then. All aboard! Ma'am? Can I just wait? I'm in meditation here. Sorry to bother you, but I think I found what you were looking for. Hey, so get some sleep tonight. Big day tomorrow. I will. Thanks. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Anytime you want to thank me, I'm right here. Thank you? For killing the moment with your water rescue? No, did I really? No, it's not your fault, but your timing was uncanny. You had six hours for a moment to happen. That's on you. I didn't know I was on the clock. Usually I'm the one pulling the hard strings. How long have you been planning that one? That was pure inspiration. I saw an opportunity and I pounced. Well, it was some next level scheming and manipulation on your part, I must say. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm gunning for your golden headsets. Well, they might be available sooner than you might think. How's Emily? Uh, meant to warn you about that. <sighs> Not sure what's going on, but she's got that look in her eyes. Oh, no. So I'm gonna take matters into my own hands, crazy eyes? Yep, that's the one. I know it all too well. Not bad having my own personal stylist. <laughs> you really are a genius. <sighs> I'm glad somebody thinks so. <laughs> I think blue for tomorrow. Okay. Definitely. I'm sad that the world will have to wait to see you don your amazing evening gown. I'm not sad at all. You sure? Honestly, I'm glad I came to support you, and it's been really nice getting to know Luke. But when I think about the anxiety of standing up there next to you, pretending I want Marco to choose me over you, it just feels mm -hmm. wrong. 
Doesn't matter how many dresses it would sell, it's not worth it. Well, I mean, assuming he picks me for the finale, at least one of your dresses will be featured. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, there's no assuming here. I talked to Luke. He said he would eliminate me, and Marco's obsessed with you. <laughs> so, yeah, you're gonna be in the finale. <sighs> oh, I can't believe I'm actually falling for the king of hearts. Just call him Marco. It sounds way more normal. Right, totally. <laughs> That's odd. Mm -hmm. Huh, I don't see any, like, kissing Marco in the sprinklers <laughs> on your big plan. Guess I can throw that out the window. <laughs> oh, I think you can burn it. It's the oh, last yeah. remaining evidence of your diabolical plan. <laughs> yes, definitely destroy it. Yeah? Yeah. It's gone. Thank you. We're done with it. Marco. Hey. Hi. Is everything okay? I'll let you be the judge of that. On the next episode of Hard Choices, will he find out? It's a game. A game I'm going to be really good at. I have a plan. I don't want to win. I want to be first runner up. First runner up becomes Queen of Hearts next season. Move over, Marco. It's my time to shine. Did you really say all that? You saw the tape. Listen, I don't usually do this, but I thought you deserved to know before the heart ceremony. I appreciate that. This isn't a reflection of you, okay? America loves you. They're gonna back your decision 100%. Hey, handsome. You ready for tonight? Yep. Everything okay? Just got my game face on. Ah, okay. Well, you know the deal. Thanks, but I don't think I'll be needing that tonight. You sure? I don't want to sound canned. What? <laughs> well, you don't have to use it. You know, it's just a backup. You said it sounds better when it comes from the heart, right? That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. All right, well, here are your hearts. I think you'll be pleased with the choices. All right, quiet on set! And we're rolling! And action! We welcome all of Heart Nation back to tonight's elimination ceremony. Two contestants will leave with a heart, and one with theirs broken. Marco, what's going through your head right now? A lot of reflection. You know, so much has happened over the last few days, and I, I just keep going through it all in my mind. I've spent what I thought was some real quality time with these three women, and I've learned a lot about who they are and what makes them tick. And I think, in return, I've shared a lot about myself. So now I have a big decision to make. You certainly do. So, what is your heart's choice? Okay, stick to the game plan, Marco. Don't let me down. Bree, can you step forward? Of course. Everything changed for me the day that you came on this show. Before that, I was in my head. I was self-conscious. All I could think about was how I was being perceived. In truth, I wasn't being me. But you changed all that. You pushed me to do what I wanted and to just be who I am. To open up myself to you completely. Which is why it hurt me so badly when I found out that the only real reason you came on this show was for a chance to be next year's Queen of Hearts. This may be a game to you, but it's not to me. I need to know if that's true. And I need you to be honest with me. Marco, you have to understand. Yes or no? Was that your plan all along? Yes. Well, then you've made my choice for me. Goodbye, Brie.
And just like that, we are down to our final two contestants. Tune in next week to see Marco make his final hard choice. That wasn't supposed to happen. Sure it wasn't. Well, I hope you get your precious ratings. Cut! Oh, no, no, no. Don't cut those cameras. You keep rolling. Don't you dare stop. You keep rolling. And you don't even think about it. Oh. Hey, 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 come here, come here, come on, come on. Uh, oh. Just, there's a towel right over there. Haley! I, I promise I had no idea Marco was going to do that. You sure it wasn't a romantic assist from one of your trusty gut instincts? He didn't even wear the earpiece tonight. He refused to, OK? That was all him. So then what did you say to him to make him talk to Brie like that? Nothing, I swear. Uh-huh. And how do I know you're not lying? He's telling the truth. They must have filmed our conversation in the waiting room of the audition. Remember? You were filming that? We film everything. Like, if, if there was any dirt in that footage, Emily's minions were going to find it. And if Marco heard what I said about the show, he had every right to be mad at me. Heaven forbid you let a private conversation go to waste. I'm going to go pack my things. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Don't be. We knew what this was. It was a game, and we lost. We should have. Never let ourselves get caught up like this. Well, let me let me go talk to Marco. Let me see if I can fix this. It'll still be fake. Nothing you can do will change the fact that none of this is real. No, I guess you were right. I guess the best love stories can't be staged. They just happen. Again, I'm sorry. So what are you going to do now? I'm leaving with you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Listen, Haley, you've got two choices here. Either play ball, show up to the finale tomorrow wearing whatever you want, by the way. Or you go home with Brie now, get sued by the studio, and you'll cost Luke his job. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. You were so right. This is a lose-lose situation for both of us. It's fine. I, I can fake it for one hour. I'll put on a smile. I'll play their little game. I mean, sure, it'll kill a piece of my soul, but... I'm but... not talking about the show. I'm talking about Marco and Luke. Maybe it doesn't have to be. What do you mean? Maybe it's time we give them a dose of their own reality. What's all this about? I've been thinking a lot about the alliance you talked about earlier. <laughs> You're a little late for that one, sweetie. What if it meant I could guarantee you come out on top? Interesting. But how do I know that this isn't some sort of trick? I think this will prove I'm serious. I'm saving it for myself. But to be honest, it'll look better on you. I'm listening. I'm in need of assistance. Repeat, do you copy? This is curious. Over. One, how'd you get a walkie? And two, this better be good. Over. Yes, to the wandering child, looking for a star to guide. Shoot through the darkness of the night. Hold your hand up to your heart and know it's just a chance to start. I know that it might feel like it's too hard. Okay, everyone, listen up. 
This is our last day, so let's finish strong, okay? I know that we all really need a break after this, but let's not forget why we got into this business, okay? Let's roll cameras. Rolling. Waiting on you, Luke. And action. Aloha, and welcome to the episode you've all been waiting for, where Marco will make a heart choice for the last time. Are you ready to decide? Absolutely. Let's bring out our ladies. You want to tell me what's going on? Nope. Vanessa, <laughs> you look stunning. May I ask who you're wearing? Of course. This is a dress from Silver Halo, my new favorite brand from my favorite designer. I can see why. And Haley, wow, I did say you could wear whatever you wanted, but I see you took it quite literally. May I ask why you chose that? I tell you, but it's a surprise. You know I don't like surprises. Eh, you'll see soon enough. <laughs> okay. okay. Well then, let's get to it, shall we? Marco, make a heart choice. Vanessa. We might not have had as much in common out of the gate, but the one thing that I noticed in you was consistency. You never wavered in your interest in me. And that gives me the confidence that you will always be in my corner. I'm not ready to propose to you today, but I hope that you will accept this heart and continue on this journey with me. Marco, I'd love to. But unfortunately, I can't. You see, I agree with everything that you said. I have been unwavering in my interest in you. But I deserve a man who feels the same way about me. It's clear to me that your heart is with someone else. Will I ever get a real chance at love? has a lot to say about what you saw yesterday. I hope you'll give her the chance to explain. I know she would do the same for you. Do you know where I can find her? No, but she says that you do? Take Duke. He's a lot faster than a golf cart. <laughs> what are we doing here? Follow the horse! You had the woman! Let's move! Looks like you're gonna need these more than I will. About time you realize that. You're gonna Aww. be great. You know I don't do feelings. Come on. <laughs> Oscar, my cart better be loaded up. Let's go. I'm so sorry, Marco. I didn't mean to hurt you. I just never thought I'd actually find something real on a show like this. It's okay. Maybe it's one of those things you can't find until you stop looking for it. You weren't kidding about that horse allergy, were you? Oh, I was not. It is a very good thing that Wardrobe had that laying around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it definitely made an impression, that's for sure. <laughs> I have to ask, out of everything that you just pulled off, how did you get Vanessa on board? Uh, I kind of convinced her that she'd be the next Queen of Hearts and promised her custom dresses for the whole season. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, if that's not going above and beyond for your brand, I don't know what is. I gotta say, this reality stuff is exhausting. I don't know how you do it. You mean did it? Yeah, today was my last day. Successful or not, I can't do it anymore. And I look at you and, you know, I see 
that you're genuine and, and passionate and real. And that's who I want to be. And it's who I want to be with. Wow. Hold up. You can't give out hearts just yet. We haven't even been on an official date. Maybe we can change that, since I'll be spending more time in the Bay Area. Wait, why? San Francisco is my favorite city, and it happens to be a good place to start off my docuseries. You know, what's weird is it also happens to be the place where I live. Is it? Mm -hmm. Did you mention that? Maybe once or twice. I, did, I swear I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Well, I may not be moving mountains to be near you, but I am crossing an ocean, so I hope that still counts. I can work with that. Yeah? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs>